What they're terrified of is this. Humanity coming together. Putting down the irrelevant, manufactured fault lines of different religious beliefs and political beliefs and cultures and income brackets and uniting behind something that affects us all. The fact that our basic freedoms are being withdrawn and are planned to be massively more withdrawn than they already have been. Because this is not a conspiracy to enslave Jewish people or Muslims or middle class Americans or South African uh, blacks. This is a conspiracy to enslave all of us and therefore we all need to come together to be united behind what affects us all. Martin Luther King said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So often you see people, oh yeah, well that doesn't affect me. It's an injustice, yes, it doesn't affect me. Oh, that doesn't affect me and that doesn't affect me. And then eventually it does affect you because of the process that you've allowed to happen by saying it's not my problem. It's like that pastor said in Nazi, or after Nazi Germany. He said, first they came for the Jews and I was not a Jew, so I did nothing. Then they came for the communists and I was not a communist, so I did nothing. Then they came for the trade unionists. I was not a trade unionist, so I did nothing. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak out for me. And what's happening now around the world is they're picking off different sections. They're picking off the Muslims in this area and that area. They're picking off these people in this level and middle class Americans and all that stuff. And everyone's going, it's not my problem. We'll leave them to it. If we are going to live in a just world and a free world, everyone else's injustice must become our injustice. And we must stand by other people, even though that we're not affected by it. As King said, in the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. And we all need to become each other's friend. Silence is consent. Can you hear us now? And it is. Silence is consent. This control system has reached its, its, its point that we're facing now because so many people have looked the other way and been silent. Enough. Tanks in Syria stopping for no one. Crumbing like the crusher, leaving no one behind but the blood gusher. So gusher. Newborn babies are infant under GMO constriction and GMO confliction. Say what? But what are we gonna do with the biological attack set up for me and you? What are we gonna do? Blood shed on me. Population stands confused, not knowing what we're going to do. But it seems that the new plan, it's not really new. We're going to attack Iran. Why? Over the time course of a generation, seems that we have been coaching on the nation. And in our pockets, slowly we've been separating the money from the only. What are we gonna do? Blood shed on me.
song.